When Morgan realized he was being pursued, he decided to make a stand. And he decided to make a stand at a place called Hannah's Cowpens. Now, the re there's a reason it's called a cowpen, because in the back country of the Carolinas, people raised cattle on the open range. We had cowboys in the Carolinas for a long time before they got to Texas, okay? Uh, and what you would do is individuals would get together at a cow pen, so they'd be herded together, and because, you know, one farmer might have 10, one might have five, they'd get together, and then they would have a cattle drive to the market in Charleston, okay? So, it was also chosen by Daniel Morgan because everybody knew where Hannah's cow pens was, so all of a sudden, with what has happened uh, elsewhere, you've got hundreds of militia, patriot militia, signing up, moving in with uh, Daniel Morgan. Um, he, his battle plan, and I, I must say it's still studied today at the United States Military Academy at, at West Point um, because of its significance. He knew his men, he knew the terrain, and he knew his enemy. Everything a commander needs to do to be successful. And what I mean about that is he had a mixed army, Daniel Morgan did, of Continentals who could stand up to the British, a British bayonet charge. He had militia who might be good for a couple of, couple of rounds and then they're gonna wanna get out of the way of a British charge. And so he took that into consideration. That was part of his plan was to have the militia on the front line to fire two volleys and then maneuver around. They would be then there'd be regulars, and then there was cavalry in reserve. And as things worked out, as soon as Tarleton, who was impetuous, and Morgan knew that, as soon as he saw that first rank of Americans, the militia, break ranks and move, he thought they're gonna, now's the time to move in for the kill. Well, as soon as he moved in, Colonel William Washington and his cavalry sweep around the side, and the American infantry turns around and fires two more volleys point blank into the advancing British. This is the only pitched battle in the American Revolution where British forces turned and ran from the American army, the Battle of Cowpens. In an hour, Bannister Tarleton had lost 1,000 men, killed, wounded, or captured. It's an incredible blow to Cornwallis' army.